Hello, our dear football lovers. Guess what? It actually happened. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. has signed his first professional contract. And not with some average club, but with Manchester United. Although it's not that surprising, since we all know what club his dad represents. But fact remains the fact. From now on, Cristianinho is recruited by Manchester United. Our congratulations to Junior on such a landmark live event. We, as a channel that closely monitors the life of Cristiano Junior, could not help but ask several questions at once. And now, we are going to share them with you. How long is the contract signed for? And on what conditions? How did Manchester United supporters and the world media react to such an event? How will this deal shape Cristiano Ronaldo's near future? What happens if Ronaldo decides to leave Man United in the season's finish? In which academy will Junior continue his studies then? We have conducted a large analysis on this topic and are open to discuss the results with you. Grab something crunchy and tasty and let's get going! It's worth starting with the official part. On February 10th, the football world found out that Manchester United signed the first professional contract with Cristiano Ronaldo's 11-year-old son, Cristianinho, handing him the legendary number 7 for obvious reasons. Ronaldo's beloved Georgina Rodriguez supported the young man by posting beautiful family photos on Instagram. Pursuing our dream together, mom loves you, she wrote touchingly. Needless to say, these pics have received excited reactions from all over the world. It's worth mentioning that the photos from Georgina's Instagram account have already gained more than 7 million likes. Wow, now that is a great reaction! We move on to the details of Junior's contract with the Manchester United Academy. We did not find the exact numbers, because even the official website of the Red Devils keeps silent. In this case, we dare to assume that Manchester United representatives agreed on a one-and-a-half-year contract with the junior. Why do we think so? The thing is that his dad's contract with them expires in the summer of 2023. Thus, we conclude the appropriate synchronization of contracts. So everything looks logical so far, doesn't it? Still, how can we ignore the question of the possible wage of Junior at the Academy? Unfortunately, we did not manage to find any evidence whatsoever. It's more likely that even Cristiano pays for his son's education himself. In terms of Ronaldo Jr. earnings, one should rather dwell on sponsorship contracts. We already had suspicions about the agreement with Adidas. Because Cristianinho wears the boots of this exact brand. Given that Adidas is one of the sponsors connected to Manchester United, the fact that Cristianino signed the first professional contract with the Devils can have a very positive impact on the development of his spell there. Perhaps we are soon to receive official news about the confirmation of such a contract very soon. Ronaldo Jr. signs partnership with Adidas. We suggest everything's meant to be like this. How did Manchester United supporters react to recent news? How do they generally feel about Junior? Some sort of delight or pure pessimism? We gathered the comments and picked only the best ones just for you. Get set, go! Fascinating to see whether he will have his father's A1 desire. Irrespective of talent, will he make it at any level of the pro game, as most ex-player sons or daughters rarely do? Arguably because they have such privileged lifestyles they need or desire isn't there. One of Man United fans wrote, Wins the Champions League, goes to Real Madrid, breaks death records and returns to Man United. This or be like Jordi Cruyff. There were such opinions too. Only got signed because of his dad. You'll never convince another man alive any different. Another football fan lacks no skepticism. He has no motivation. He has been swimming pools of money since childhood. It's just entertainment. He will get older and give up on it. If anything happens, there is always someone to borrow money from. There are also enough people doubting Ronaldo's son's motivational aspect. Why can't he start his own legacy, running under his father's shadow, so he can be judged highly against his father's achievements? And called for public pressure for this young lad. Another fan sympathizes with Junior. It would be cool to see him with son Rooney at Man United starting 11 in a few years. And that sounds great. 
53 goals and 18 assists in U11 Serie A. The Messi kids could never, writes Junior's personal fan. Why don't you just let him play? That makes it even more interesting to watch. Why such hostility? All of a sudden, we are here for football. One of the fans totally roots for Junior. How old we are! The son of Ronaldo is already running for Manchester United. It's true, time cannot be stopped. Junior will be the greatest player in the generation just like his dad, CR7. And so on and so forth. As for the world media, basically they mostly remember the scoring accomplishments of Cristiano Jr. in Juventus. Those same 58 goals in 28 appearances that the whole world has heard about. Besides that, lots of comparisons with his father. Ronaldo Sr. himself wants to protect his son from excessive pressure. Cristiano Ronaldo was quoted by the Mirror as saying in the Netflix documentary I am Georgina. Will he succeed in football? Only time will tell. I will never pressure him. He will do what he wants. Also, what I want the most for Cristianito and everyone else is that they are happy and that they choose what they want. I will support in any way, Cristiano claimed. Don't worry, guys. This is a contract valid for only four to five months. Then his dad packs his bags and goes to another club. The following was one of the most popular comments on the topic of Junior's first professional deal. Indeed, it can happen. The matter is that English media spread lots of rumors on Ron's possible departure from United next summer. According to these reports, the Portuguese can freely leave Old Trafford if the club cannot secure a Champions League spot for the next campaign, states a clause included in the CR7's two-year deal with the Red Devils. Another obstacle to Ronaldo's future in Manchester United is the current team coach Ralf Rangnick. He repeatedly hinted at Cristiano being not among untouchable players, leaving him on the bench and advising to think of a better use of his scoring chances. So to say, their relations are strained as much as possible. Only a new manager, who is expected to come to Manchester next summer, can save Cristiano from misery at Old Trafford. But there are some nuances too. The candidate should satisfy Ronaldo himself. In case Manchester United management makes a mistake with the choice of a coach once again, Cristiano will not wait for miracles and immediately leave his favorite club. To crown all mentioned above, now the chances of Ronaldo leaving Manchester United next summer are growing rapidly every 24 hours. United is in bad shape at the Premier League, risking not getting into the Champions League qualification zone, more conflicts with Rangnick are arising, and there is still no certainty on a new boss. We would estimate the chances of Ronaldo leaving as 60% versus 40. Therefore, the Ronaldo family will also move to a new city. What clubs can Junior reckon later on? According to the latest World Media Insiders, the main favorites to sign Cristiano Ronaldo are Paris Saint-Germain. In Paris, the forward intends to see his good old friend Zinedine Zidane, who is predicted to take the PSG coaching post next summer. The variant still seems unclear, but definitely wonderful for both Ron and his close ones. Georgina probably dreamed of living in Paris, and a new school of life will open its doors for Junior. Learning French football at such a young age is worth a lot, as the French academies are accepted among the best in the world. Another pick is more of a nostalgic note. Sporting Lisbon is a special club for the family of CR7. And especially for Cristiano Ronaldo's mother, Maria Dolores dos Santos Javeiro. She dreams that one day her son is going to retire at Sporting, the team where he started his professional career. Moreover, she even promises something similar to the fans of the Lisbon club. For Junior, this can also be a great opportunity to shine. A little less pressure, more chances to gain a foothold in the first team with gradual progress. Inter Miami may not be the most straightforward option to continue Cristiano Ronaldo's path. Nevertheless, it's no secret that the Portuguese dreams of living in the United States to the point of even voicing his desire to try himself at Hollywood. Firstly, a few years of football as a part of Inter from Miami, then an acting career. Not the best option for his son, though. Real Madrid remains a dream place to complete Cristiano Ronaldo's career. It was in Madrid that the Portuguese spent his prime years. We've already seen many rumors about Cristiano's desire to come back, 
what Florentina Paris believes Ronaldo has already written his story at Santiago Bernabeu. Performances at the Academy of Madrid would be an invaluable experience for the further progress of Junior. However, this is hardly a possible scenario to consider anytime soon. As for this moment, we wish Junior success at the Man United Academy and hope that he is about to upgrade to his maximum within the Red Devils camp. Guys, please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to follow the career steps of Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Well, it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.